We are just tickled pink to bring you a brand new sponsored segment today on First at Four. It is called Medical Monday. Each Monday, I'll be talking to one of our sponsors from the medical community about the services that they provide. My guest today on, first, uh, on the first ever Medical Monday segment is none other than Dr. Earl Heydrich from Smile Design Center. Dr. Heydrich, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. It is our great pleasure to have you, sir. My pleasure to be here. All right, well, let's go ahead and get right to this. Uh, why don't you just start out by telling us a little bit about you, your practice, and, and what you guys do over at Smile Design Center. Uh, okay, Danny. Uh, well, I have been in practice 33 years, started in 1978, over on uh, what's now Jack Warner Parkway. Uh, made a move to University Boulevard uh, after about 10 years. Stay there about 20, and now Dr. Taylor and I are over on um, Town Center Boulevard in a new office that we love a lot. 33 years. 33 years. That is a long time. For it's, any profession, especially to be looking in people's mouths. It seems so short. <laughs> I'll bet. Tell us a little bit about uh, 30 plus years. What have you seen that's changed? What's different from whenever you first started? Um, well, there is. there has been a lot of change, a lot of changes. The prob Probably the most profound would be uh, the advent of things like digital x-rays because we used to uh, use the old film kind. You would take an x-ray, take it in the dark room, put all those chemicals on it, and hopefully, hopefully it would come out. And so now uh, what we do is we use a uh, sensor that we put in the mouth, uh, click the x-ray button, and then it just pops up on the computer screen and you can see it within a matter of half a second. So much quicker, so much cheaper too, I'm guessing. It is cheaper, and the one of the most important things is it cuts the radiation dose, even though it, it's small to begin with, it cuts the radiation dose by as much as 50% uh, if you use a digital x-ray. Well, that's something that's changed, but I'm pretty sure there's one thing that hasn't changed, and that's people being afraid of going to the dentist. Do you have some advice for, for the folks at home that have a loved one, maybe a kid, or, or maybe themselves, that they're frightened yeah. to come and see you guys? Well, that's true, and that's um, something we see you know, a fair amount of, but the most important thing, I, I think, is the relationship. Mm -hmm. And if you can establish a relationship um, and get the person's trust. And as, as you all know, uh, as a child or as an adult, you know, when you trust something or when you trust someone, then your anxiety level goes down a lot. And so for, especially for adults, um, they, I think they want a relationship and they want to trust you. And if you uh, uh, deliver on that, then, uh, their anxiety goes way down, and it doesn't take that long in most cases that um, they're not anxious anymore. Speaking of anxious, what about kids? Do you have some advice for moms? Because I know the first trip to the, to the dentist for kids, and you and I yeah. were talking during the break, right. that can be kind of traumatic on a young person. Yes, that, that, that is true. And the thing we emphasize about children, number one, is, is get them started. You know, and, and usually, usually that should be right after uh, that they have all of their baby teeth in, which is usually about two, two and a half or three years old. Um, the other thing is for moms or dads to bring them in the office on their visit sometime mm -hmm. and, and let them get sort of acclimated to the surroundings, let them meet the people. Um, and so that it's not a strange place when it comes their turn. And the other thing I would emphasize is that, uh, is, is to not make a big deal out of it. Mm. Because if you talk to them about it a week in advance or whatever, it gives them a chance to talk to their friends and <laughs> gives their friends a chance to tell them bad stories. Mm. So, um, uh, you know, just give them, you know, Short notice. There you, you go. Know, like, hey, by the way, we're going to the dentist. Yeah. You Grab know, your coat. We're going. Yeah, we're going to the grocery store, get some milk, and we're going to see the <laughs> Just slide it in there with the other air. Yeah. And, and I, so I guess a good thing to do would be uh, for mom or dad, when they're just going in for something routine, like to, to sure. get their teeth clean. Nothing major, like a root right. canal. You know, just simple cleaning. Exactly. Take the kids and, you know, mm -hmm. let them see it's not that big of a yeah. deal. Yeah. And um, uh, they get, get to meet the people, get a little prize or something, and 
and they develop that trust that we just talked about. Now, Smile Design Center, people hear that name and I'm sure they think that, you know, basically you guys do whitening or, 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 or the implants or mm -hmm. stuff like that, but, but y'all do all everything dental, correct? Pretty much. Okay. There, there are some specialty things that we do not do, but, mm. but most everything dentally we do. And, um, um, yeah, we um, uh, try to meet people where they are dentally and find out what their desires are and, and kind of go from there. All right. It seems like you can't turn on the television now without seeing a commercial for toothpaste or something that's going to make your, your teeth whiter. What yeah. do you guys do over at Smile Design that, that helps people have whiter, more vivid, memorable yeah. smiles? <laughs> well, there, there's several things. The most basic thing, I guess, would be uh, the whitening process or, or bleaching, as some people call it. And, and we have, I think, quite a good process for doing that. Um, and the other things, uh, the other kinds of ways to whiten teeth uh, um, would be to have veneers or, or some kind of uh, porcelain restoration put on them uh, if, if that's indicated, of course. But, but bleaching is the most basic way to whiten teeth. All right. Well, Dr. Heidrich, I'm afraid we're out of time, but thank you very much for being with us again. My pleasure, Dan. Hopefully we'll see you around here again pretty soon. I hope so. If our sponsor sparks your interest today, then you can give them a call down at Smile Design Center. The number is 205-750-8008. You can find out more about them online at smiledesigncenter.net. They're also social media, too, so look for them on Facebook and on Twitter.